Well, thank you, Mr. Chair, and it's good to be back in the committee that, uh, that I once was in, and good to see all the happy faces, and just bring you a nice, easy bill that'll be easy to understand, and it is about good reform and uh, great outcomes in our, uh, uh, with our service providers. House 5311 uh, addresses contract arrangements between counties and between county and between county and a provider in that county. Um, and we'll explain a little bit more. Um, Minnesota statute 256.0112 governs financial arrangements between counties when one county places a child for treatment in a residential facility in another county. The host county negotiates a per diem rate with that treatment provider. The residential treatment provider does not have to negotiate with the 80 plus counties. Um, House file 311 will allow counties to supplement the host county contract with performance and outcome requirements. Uh, Hennepin County began to use this performance contract in 2009 and they want to be able to apply this approach with placements in out of home treatment. The supplemental performance requirements allow some provider to earn enhanced payment for cost effective outcomes. It will improve communication and accountability between counties and providers. <laughs> uh, to speak to the bill, uh, Mr. Hotz, Kurt Hotz from Hennepin County Human Service, who uh, is widely known uh, as the uh, preeminent guru on outcomes and performances and numbers in Hennepin County, which of course is our biggest county in the state. Um, so he knows a little bit what he's talking about and I'm gonna turn it over to him, Mr. Chair. Mr. Guru Hotz, uh, <laughs> welcome to the committee. Please state your name for the record and proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. I am Curtis Hotz. I'm the Chief Financial Officer and Director of Internal Services for the Hennepin County Human Services and Public Health Department, although I will pass on the, the label of guru. I <laughs> take that one at all. Uh, I am here today to testify in, in support of House File 311. As Representative Hayden indicated, Minnesota Statute 256. 0112 governs counties in the, in the contracting and the provision of social services. Subdivision 6 provides an economical model by allowing the use of host county contracts. This allows counties to access services which are not available in their own county without having to go through the process of writing a new contract. It is also efficient for service providers who don't have to manage 87 separate county contracts. However, at times, counties may want to expand on the provisions written in a host county contract. The amendment as proposed in House File 311 allows us to do so with respect to out-of-home placements. Again, as Representative Hayden noted, in 2009, the Hennepin County Board of Commissioners directed our department to expand the use of pay-for-performance contracts. To date, we have about 100 contracts in place that contain those elements. <coughs> One area that is, for the most part, out of reach for us is the provision of services for youth placed in residential treatment centers and group homes because many of these facilities are outside of Hennepin County. Out-of-home placement costs are significant for Hennepin County. In 2010, we had 281 children just in residential treatment and group homes costing us over $15 million. The use of pay for performance for these services is a considerable opportunity for better outcomes for the children being served and long-term savings for the taxpayers. The amendment proposed in House File 311 would allow an individual county, if it chooses, to negotiate a supple agreement, supplemental agreement with the out-of-county facilities while leaving the basic terms and conditions negotiated between the provider and the host county in place. No other county would be bound by the terms of that supplemental agreement. As outlined in the proposed legislation, the intent is to encourage funding tied to improve client outcomes that are both timely and cost effective rather than just paying for days of service. Pay performance contracts can create greater accountability for the provider and at the same, town, same time, excuse me, allow high performing facility to earn more than just a per diem rate, thus sharing in the long-term savings accrued to the taxpayers. On behalf of Hennepin County, I encourage your support for House File 311. I am available for any questions. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Representative Hayden, I did have a question on line 1.15. I noticed that it mentions the per diem rate allowed under this subdivision must not be less than the rate established in the Lee County contract. Is There's no fiscal note associated with this bill? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, not that I'm aware of, but Mr. Hodden. Mr. Chair, there's not the, it really is a, it's a, for most of the children placed in these facilities, it's a county property tax. Sometimes we're able, able to leverage federal Title IV-E funding, and so there's really no state funding involved in the placements. Very good, thank you. Members, any other questions? 
Any other questions? Uh, anybody else wanting to testify on the bill? See none. We'll lay over this bill for possible inclusion. House File 311 for possible inclusion in the Thank you, Mr. Chair. Health Member and Human Services Policy Bill. Thank you, Representative Hayden. 